no budget RC here, this is Eli. Do a quick video. This is going to be more for the uh, newbies that are just getting started into the hobby. Uh, I'm kind of just talking about the different kinds of chargers. So we'll start with this guy here. This is like your very basic. Um, going to come with your ready to run kit. And if you, it even says right on there, 3,000 to 4,000, or 4,000 milliamp battery is going to take 440 minutes to charge. Those are super slow. They'll get you started with, like I said, with your ready to run kit. But I wouldn't recommend them. I mean, honestly, you're going to be able to run your truck once a day on something like that. And if you get two battery packs, you're going to be basically charging all day long. Not only it's going to charge your, uh, NIM and uh, possibly NICAD. Nope, this one says on it NIM only on it. So then you can go up to something like this. This is an old outdated, uh, says it's a fast charger. It's really not all that fast. I believe this one charges at one and a half amps. It's going to be faster than that ready to run, but it's just big and bulky and not that fast of a charger. Um, it'll get, it'll, it'll get charged faster. This one will charge both NICAD and NIM batteries. Um, then if you are only running NIM batteries, I would suggest going with something like this. This is going to get you done, you know, it's going to get it done for you a lot faster. Um, it has selectable charge rate on there. Yeah, it's just... A lot better charger for charging your NIM batteries and uh, that's gonna get it done a lot faster I mean you can charge up to 5 amps on it you now it's gonna charge your 5,000 milliamp pack at 5 amps should basically charge in about an hour then if you step up to lipos you got a lot of selection there too um, this is kind of like a you know basic what would come you know with like a ready to run this is a very slow charger uh, 1.8 amps um, I do occasionally use this this charges through the balance port this one will only charge 3s lipo I do occasionally use this to charge uh, my small 2200 milliamp lipos that I run in my crawler it works okay for those you know that way I can be running my big chargers charging my bigger packs if I have a lot of batteries to charge also have this one this one will charge up to 6s lipo it'll charge you know you can charge your NIM and your NICADs on here also um, so it has a ton of features this one does however requ require a uh, power source and these got these uh, alligator clips you could clip it to your car battery and charge it off of there but it does require a DC power source of some sort this is what I'm going to recommend for your average weekend uh, RC guy. You know, this thing will charge anything you want. It'll only charge LiPo up to 4S. Um, it's programmable. This will charge about any kind of battery. And this will this is going to do it do the job for most people. This will charge up to 8 amps, so it'll get your battery charged a pretty good amount of time. Um, a lot of features. You can change out your plugs charge several different types of plugs on there um, this one actually I believe even has a port yeah it has a 5 volt port there where you can even plug your cell phone in and charge on it and that's gonna get it done for most people um, however if you have the money to spend or you're really into RC and you have a whole lot of batteries you can step up to something like this this will charge up to a 6S LiPo, and this will charge two at a time. Um, this charges at 200 watts per channel. However, it does require also a DC power source. Um, this is actually a little bit smaller than what it recommends. So I do not charge um, two 6S batteries at full power at the same time, because I don't think this power supply would keep up with this battery charger. So if I'm charging my big, one of my big lipos, I'll usually charge a small lipo on the other channel. Um, but yeah, this thing's fully programmable. You can charge two lipos at once. You can change out your uh, plugs to charge your different battery types. 
you know, this thing is a really good charger. I highly recommend this if you are in RC and have a lot of batteries or you have big batteries. And the other day I charged my uh, big 4S LiPo that I run in my uh, Arma Creighton. And it's a uh, 6700 milliamp. I charged that thing up in like 45 minutes the other day with this. Um, these really cool chargers. And this one will also charge any type of battery. But yeah, that's what I'd recommend if you're, you know, definitely if you're like into racing or something like that, or you just have a whole lot of batteries. But it, like I said, it does require a power source. And uh, this is a 25 amp power source. This battery charger actually says it requires a 30 amp. However, this one does work. But like I said, I would not charge two batteries at, you know, the full potential of this charger at the same time because I don't think that that would keep up because it is a little bit smaller than what it recommends anyways for you new guys that are just getting into the hobby I thought I'd do a quick video and show you some of the charging options and uh, maybe explain you know to the new guys if you did go out and get it ready to run why you might want to ditch this charger and get something else thanks for watching please uh, like subscribe Share the video if you liked it, and uh, see you around in the next video.